Welcome to the next phase of our PLC controlled toaster oven. We have a run of the mill toaster oven right here connected to this PLC control system. It's an Allen Bradley SLC 500 PLC that is monitoring the temperature of the oven using an RTD through an RTD input card and then is driving power to the heating element of the oven using pulse width modulation. We just simply have one discrete output of the PLC turning on and off. That's turning on a solid state relay which then turns on and off 120 volt AC power to the oven. You can see the power blinking here as the neon light turns on and off. What we've done to it uh, in this stage, which is more than what you saw last time, is we have added our HMI panel. So we actually have a graphical interface now to what's going on. We've got three screens set up on the panel, a trend screen, a faceplate, where we can see the parameters of the PID control, process variable, set point, output, and auto manual. And we have a tuning screen too, where we can change the tuning constants. On the trend screen right here, we see the output, the process variable, and the set point. I recently made a set point change, and that's the, uh, the step up you see in the, the dashed line set point. The process variable is the thick white line right here, which is coming up to set point. The thinner white line is the output. It shot up immediately to put more heat to the oven, and now it's coming down as the process variable is approaching set point. On the faceplate, we can see this as well. My process variable is about 60%. My set point's a little bit over 60%, and that's out of a 0 to 500 degree uh, range. My output down here is uh, uh, approximately 25% or so, and we're in automatic mode. If I wanted to, I could switch to manual mode and back to automatic. I have the ability to change my set point, change my output just by dragging the slider controls up and down. And of course, the tuning screen <coughs> is where we can change the PID tuning constants. So let's say if I wanted a faster interval time instead of 350 seconds, I could type in 300 seconds. and that would change the tuning. That's a pretty useful system right now. We can set this up, we can change the tuning parameters on it and uh, see what works the best to optimize the response of our oven, uh, minimize overshoot and uh, shorten up the response time to a new set point. We have some other features we want to put in it later on, such as a timer for timing how long the food is cooking. We'd also like to put in a high alarm that will actually signal alarm if the temperature goes over a certain trip threshold. That's all to come. But for right now, I've got ourselves a very useful and workable control platform. This PLC is capable of doing so much, so much more than really a, a small oven deserves. But hey, it's fun to gratuitously apply technology uh, just for the purpose of showing how control works. And this is going to be a great teaching tool for PID control.